At the end of this online module, you should be able to translate between relational statements and English statements, employ relational operations with arrays, and employ order of operations to perform relational operations. Let's consider a problem that will help us learn about relational operators in MATLAB. An electrical engineer is part of a team that is designing a logic circuit for an in-home security system. The logic circuit connects a light fixture, a motion detector, a digital clock set to 24-hour time, and a light switch. The system should work such that the light fixture turns on when homeowners are not home in the evenings, so it appears that they are home. When the homeowners are home, the light fixture should be controlled by the light switch. Therefore, the goal of the logic circuit is to turn on the light when the light switch is on or when both the motion detector is not engaged, that is, motion is not detected, and the clock is within a particular time range. The engineer has been assigned the job of developing the MATLAB code that converts the time on the clock to a true-false output based on the homeowner's settings. First, we need to consider the system the clock will operate within. Digital electronics controls use binary numbering systems to operate, meaning that they take inputs of 1 and 0, which usually translate to true and false, and they output 1 or 0. In programming, comparison or relational operators are used to ask questions that can be answered with yes or no, or more commonly true-false. In MATLAB, all non-zero values are considered to be true, but are typically represented by the number 1. All zero values are considered to be false and are represented by the number zero. The clock setting will be controlled using relational operators. Let's learn about these next. The relational operators on the left side of this table should all be familiar to you from your previous experiences. The MATLAB syntax for each of these relational operators is shown on the right side of the table. There are a few things to note that will help you to work with relational operators in MATLAB. First, the equal to operator is represented with two equal signs. This is different than the single equal sign in MATLAB, which assigns the right value to the variable on the left. The double equal signs is the relational operator and compares the values on each side of the operator to see if they are equal. When they are equal, MATLAB returns a 1, or true. When they are not equal, MATLAB returns a 0, or false. Another important thing to note is that when typing the relational operators for greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, or not equal to, the equal sign must be the second character. Now that we know something about the relational operators, how do they fit within the other operations in MATLAB? There are two online modules that describe algebraic operations and logical operators separately. Let's consider where relational operators fit among these operations. All six of the relational operators are at the same priority level. Notice that they come after all algebraic operators, and the only logical operator that comes prior to relational operators is logical negation. All of the others are after relational operators. Now let's try to work this by hand. Thinking back to the problem statement, we are coding the performance of the digital clock. Let's consider the clock and what is needed for the code. The digital clock is set to display 24-hour time rather than using a 12-hour clock that uses AM and PM to differentiate morning from evening. It needs to work with the other devices in the system, such that the light fixture has the potential to be on during a time range set by the homeowners. And it needs to output true when the clock is within the set time range and false when the clock is outside the set time range. Now, how does this relate to the MATLAB code we need to develop? Let's think about how to work out this problem. First, let's consider the inputs to this problem. We need to know the time range the homeowners want the light fixture turned on when they are away from the home. This translates to input of start time of the time range and end time of the time range. Next, we need to code MATLAB to compare the time on the clock to the start time and end time of the range. The question we want to answer is, is the current time between the start time and end time set by the user? And this translates mathematically to the statement start time is less than or equal to current time is less than or equal to end time. Finally, we want the output to be 1 if the answer is true and 0 if the answer is false. So let's code this in MATLAB. On the right, we have the problem worked out by hand. We need to start with inputs start time and end time. In order to demonstrate this, I will make the start underscore time equal to 19.0 
which is the same as 7 o'clock p.m. and the end underscore time equal to 22.5, which is the same as 10.30 p.m. Then I am going to provide a current time of the clock that reads current underscore time equals 20, which is the same as 8 p.m. These inputs should give me a true output since 8 p.m. is within our time range of 7 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Okay, let's code the comparison statement using the relational operators from MATLAB. I will call this variable time underscore check and set it equal to the relational statement from working out the problem by hand, which is start underscore time less than sign equal to sign, notice the MATLAB syntax here, current underscore time less than sign equal to sign end underscore time. When I press enter, I get true, which is what I am expecting. Now I should check a current time before and after the range to make sure I get a false response. So I will now make current underscore time 18.0, which is the same as 6 o'clock p.m. When I have MATLAB reevaluate my relational statement, it gives me true again. Hmm, I was expecting a false. I'm going to need to figure out what is going on with my code. But before I do that, let's check the clock after the range to see if that will give me a false or a true. Remember, I want it to be false. I will now set current underscore time to 23, which is 11 o'clock p.m. When I rerun my relational statement, MATLAB also returns true. Okay, so clearly this notation does not work. So how should we code this to get the result we want? As we just noted, MATLAB does not evaluate whether or not the current time is between the start time and end time in the way that we were expecting. In mathematics terms, the expression a is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to b is the most common notation. But in reality, this notation means that x is both greater than a and less than b at the same time. This translates to x is greater than or equal to a and x is less than or equal to b. We can use this way of thinking to get MATLAB to evaluate our expression correctly. We will have to use logical and relational operators to do this. There's another online module that covers logical operators in detail. For this issue, we only need to consider the logical operator AND. Remember the order of operations in MATLAB. MATLAB will evaluate the relational operators before the logical AND. This means that if we translate this to MATLAB code, we get x greater than equal to a ampersand x less than equal to b. And MATLAB will first evaluate the x is greater than or equal to a, then the x is less than or equal to b, then combine them with the AND operator. So let's try this in MATLAB. Again, let's start with the start underscore time equal 19 end underscore time equal to 22.5 and the current time equal to 20. Using the MATLAB notation worked out on the last slide, let's try time check equal to current time greater than equal to start time ampersand current time less than equal to end time. When I press enter, I get a one, which translates to be true. That's good. But remember last time this part worked too. So let's check values for the current time that are outside the time range, both before and after. First, let's check time 18. This should give us false. When I apply the relational logical statement again, I get a zero, which is false. That's good. Let's also try 23, which is after the range. Again, we should get false. Good, so this code works to give us what we need. Notice that I coded this example in the command window of MATLAB. To be reusable code, it would be much better in a script or user-defined function. I will leave the translation of this code into a script or user-defined function for you to do. In summary, through this online module, we developed relational statements from a problem statement, learned the correct syntax for relational operators, for example, the equal sign as a comparison in MATLAB is two equal signs together, and we applied MATLAB order of operations to perform relational operations. In particular, noting that to code the mathematical expression a is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to b in MATLAB, we must use x is greater than or equal to a and x is less than or equal to b.